how do I express my true thoughts and feelings? And where do I hold myself back? This is a good question to ask yourself for the theme Jinky 12. The shadow is vanity, the gift is discrimination, and the city is purity. And before I dive into the specific Gene Key theme, I wanted to step back and share sort of the evolutionary story as it is stated in the human design system and the Gene Key system and, and other systems as well and other philosophies. This idea that we are evolving out of being mind-centered beings and using our mind and thinking that we are our thoughts and that we should use our mind to make decisions in our life. And we are evolving into this understanding that we are more emotional beings and that there is great wisdom in our emotions, particularly when we can be clear and discriminatory towards what we are truly feeling and how we may be holding ourselves back not really expressing our true selves and feeling free to be our most outrageous self. So vanity, it's interesting. Vanity might not be what we think it is. According to Richard Rudd in his audio, he speaks of the vanity as being as all the shadows are the victim stance that it's the false belief that we exist as individuals. The, the purity, the city of the city is purity is that there is only one being, only one thing, only one consciousness. So that's the greater context for all of the gene keys. The shadow is the victim stance, the feeling that we are separate. The city is this understanding that all, all ancient religions, philosophies remind us that we are all connected and we are all one. And the gift is the pathway to this. The gift is where our genius is. And it is only through the shadow that we are able to see and experience this gift. So in vanity, we have this fear that somebody else can take away our true spirit, our, our freedom. And this is a false illusion. The gift of discrimination is, is basically instead of in, this, in the shadow, we, we judge and we discriminate for others. And we, we basically push another away and say, no, they are not for me. You know, uh, and, and sometimes we push others away because we don't want to feel something. We feel that these feelings could overwhelm us. And so we, we push away. And on the other side, on the other side, there's, there's always um, a, re a reactive nature and a repressive nature in all of the shadows. On the other side is that we can feel like we've done so much personal development work or spirituality that we are somehow higher than others or more clear than others. And this is a trap that, that uh, many of us fall into on our journeys. And the, the gift, the, the genius of discrimination is when we turn it in on ourselves and we are able to discriminate what is coming from our mind and what is coming from our heart, what is coming from our spirit, from our soul. So discriminating for ourselves as emotional beings, we have these waves of emotions and particularly this gene key is connected to our, our voice and our, our expression, as I mentioned in the beginning. And it's also has a, a channel connection to our solar plexus directly to our feelings. So it's the individual channel of, and the only, only, channel of expressing our feelings and when we get caught up in the highs the high high highs and we feel this rush of energy and we want to express or manifest from this place 
maybe you've experienced this and you feel like this is the height of your inspiration or what you need to do in the world. And then, you know, a day later or even an hour later, you bottom out. That is you being in the high of your wave and it's actually not the, the clearest space for expression. And then in the lows, the low part of the wave, uh, most of us, we want to get out of that feeling. So we do talk our way out or we, 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 you know, do something to get out of the low. And this also has negative repercussions. So the idea is to be able to understand this wave and that also we might be feeling that wave of others that we're around that might not even be our own stuff and how to uh, disentangle from, from other people's high highs and low lows and maybe recognizing when someone's on a high high and uh, not necessarily taking action in those moments. So the, the idea is that this is about refinement and this is the lifelong journey of understanding our own emotions and understanding that we are emotional beings and understanding that we have evolved from putting a heavy importance on our minds as, as I've spoken about in other videos that you know, we become identified with, with what we think. We think we are our thoughts and we think that we need to make decisions from our mind and many systems, including the human design and the gene keys, remind us, teach us that we are not our thoughts, we are not our minds, we are not here to make decisions based off of our minds, and we are starting to learn the power of our emotions. And as the, they speak about, there's literally a mutation happening in our solar plexus area, our, our power center, where we are able to bring more of our soul into our bodies and become embodied when we are able to discern you know what beliefs we might be projecting on onto others to what stories we might be creating for others that keep us separate and ultimately out of love and freedom purity speaks of this this purity of heart is that you know, we are all here for love and we are all connected. We are not separate from anyone or anything. And so therefore no one can take away our freedom. No one can take away our spirit. And I think this is a, a really great reminder in these times that, you know, even if you're th thrown in jail, you, no one can take away your love. No one can take away your freedom. And that, that spirit that wants to express through you. And this has a lot to do with the vocal cords and speaking, but it doesn't always have to be about speaking. It can be about your silence and it can be about your movement, dance, art, creation, any form of expression. So again, the question is how Am I expressing myself? Am I able to express my true feelings? Or am I holding back out of fear or caution? And sometimes we need caution. Sometimes we need caution and to recognize if we are riding a really high, high, high or a low, low, low. And, and just even understanding that if we are in a high, high, high and, you know, we we want to go out and do something and manifest something. And then we bottom out not to be hard on ourselves, but to recognize, oh, you know, I think I was in a high, high. I wasn't in my most clear state or in a low, low, low. And then also just to be compassionate to the people around us and recognize their emotions as well. If they're in a high, high or a low, low and, and just bringing grace because this is a relatively new part of our evolution, understanding our emotions and, and evolving into more capacity to be, to be human with more grace and more empowerment. So I'll see you in the next video.